Okay, this is 30.6 to give you this nice circuit looking thing. Um, give you a current in the words, 3.5 amperes. They tell you that they close the second switch, open the first switch, even though it's been the opposite. And they want you to know the maximum charge of the capacitor and the current in that in the inductor at that time. When they say at this time, they mean at the time of maximum charge on the capacitor, like when that has maximum charge. So the values they give you, you know current right here, and then they give you an L right here and a C right here, capacitor and inductor. So we have I, L, and C, and you want Q. So first thing you gotta do is find some equations that relate them. And if you look at your potential energy, you get that that is one half Li squared equals one half Q squared over C, so you can go ahead and relate these two and get Li squared equals Q squared over C, and you're trying to find charge, which is Q, so go ahead and set that equal to that, and CLI squared, and plug in your numbers, which for me is 5 times 10 to the 9 of 6, make sure you watch your units like always, um, and square. 3.5, not 35. Okay, and then no that. Yeah. Um, this is in coulombs or milli coulombs if you want that unit, if that's what you need. And then B is asking for the current at this time. So this is when the capacitor is at max charge. Which happens when current is a minimum. So that's when it happens. So a minimum current would be zero amperes and that's your answer for B. Because when a capacitor is at its max charge, there is no current flowing. As it decharges, the current will start back up again. But when it's at its maximum, there is no current.